I know I'm from San Francisco, and in San Francisco we love rallies and we love making noise. So how about you, LA? You like making noise? Now, I just spent a week in Sacramento where hundreds of our brothers and sisters have camped out inside and outside the Capitol to protect public education and essential public services. And we deliver the message that we are one in our support for Wisconsin workers. That we are one in our support for workers in Illinois, in Florida, in Ohio, and wherever workers and public families and public schools are under attack. but all over the state, from San Diego to Sacramento, from Calexico to Eureka, men and working men and women, women have stood up and they've been delivering a message to lawmakers. We are one in saying, do your job. Protect California schools and services. And there have been protests Leafletting, sit-ins, teach-ins, grade-ins all over the state. And that, as you heard, right now there are rallies going on in San Bernardino, San Diego, San Francisco. And we are one in having our voices heard. <laughs> California has the eighth largest economy in the world. And yet we continue to shortchange our students in the education that they need and deserve. In the past three years alone, pre-K through 12 and higher education has been cut by $20 billion. That's $20 billion with a B. That's about $3,000 per student. 30,000 educators and 10,000 support professionals have lost their jobs. And more than a million students have had their school year shortened by five or more days. College tuition has increased more than 200%. And we are one in our voice saying this must stop. 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 The California Teachers Association supported a budget for next year that included $12 billion in extensions if current taxes. That means that for now anyway, no one would pay a penny more than they're paying now, but we would stop the bleeding of our public schools and public services. Governor Brown wanted to put that total tax extensions on the ballot for next month, but some lawmakers, and you know who they are, hijacked the system, hijacked it and blocked the vote. They didn't want the proposal to even see the light of day. So now it's too late. So now we are in one voice calling on the legislator. No, we're demanding from the legislator to protect California students, to pass a budget that includes those tax extensions. If we don't do it, California schools will lose another four billion dollars and are we going to let that happen? No! I said are we going to let that happen? No! California already ranks near the bottom in the nation in education, education funding. And we are dead last in the number of counselors, nurses and librarians for students. Our schools and our students simply can't take any more cuts and it's not fair to them and our kids deserve better. It is wrong to cut taxes in the middle of a massive budget deficit. It is wrong to cut education and other basic services like health and public safety. It is wrong to price students out of the possibility of a college education. It is wrong for our lawmakers to even think about it. But it is right for you to be here today to send those politicians a message. Californians want to protect our state's future. We want to protect our students. We want to protect the poor. We want to protect public health. 
We want to protect our communities. So tell me, whose students are we fighting for? Ours! Whose schools are we fighting for? Ours! Whose colleges are we fighting for? Ours! Whose communities are we fighting for? Ours! Whose future is it? It's our future. I said, whose future is it? It's our future. Whose future is it? Our future. I am proud of you for standing up and fighting for this state. The struggle is ongoing and it's going to take all of us. But it's not over until it's over. And even when it's over, it's still not over. But we will prevail. Can we do it?